there's a template team? Yeah, there is. But with that in mind, who's the most owned players in the game? Hi guys, I'm Nymphria and welcome back to the home of FPL videos. In today's video, we'll take a look at the 15 most owned players in FPL since the opening of the game. To help you consider who everyone is looking at for their teams this early on in pre-season. This will give you a good judge on where everyone is putting their early money and help you with those all-important drafts. Before I get going though, I'm hoping to reach 5,000 subs before the start of the season, so if you could, please, please, please smash the sub button. Thanks NimFam. Oh and just a quick note, all ownership percentages were correct at the time of recording this so don't come at me. <laughs> okay let's see who everyone is plumping for early on in the FPL game. Martinez has taken the early lead as the most owned goalkeeper in the game with 38% of FPL managers jumping abroad. The Aston Villa man was the highest scoring goalkeeper last season with 186 points from 142 saves in 3,420 20 minutes. He started the previous season at 4.5 million and was an absolute bargain for myself and many other FPL managers who managed to jump on him early. He finished last season at 5.3 million so he's only gone up 0.2 million. Based on his early to mid performance form, 5.5 million is not a bad price for Emmy. However, he did drop off in form towards the end of last season as we all know, leaving many of us stumped as to if we should return to many save Martinez at the start of this season. His first three fixtures look great with Watford, Newcastle and Brentford at first but then they swiftly fall off of a cliff between game week 4 to game week 9. Something a lot of managers might want to consider if going with Aston Villa defence. Sanchez of Brighton is the second most owned goalkeeper in the game currently, owned by 28% of FPL managers. That's not to say at all that FPL managers have both Emmy and Sanchez in their team. That would be an expensive goalkeeper combination for any FPL manager. And it's more to say that FPL managers will have paired Martinez or Sanchez with the third most owned goalkeeper in the game, Foster, at 4 million. Sanchez is popular based on his price and Brighton's opening fixtures. At 4.5 million Brighton only face Everton and Leicester of real note in the first nine game weeks. That said, most of the season Brighton have quote unquote good fixtures. It's only really from game week 29 onwards that they start to hit a tougher fixture patch more regularly based on the fixture difficulty rating of last season's form. In defence, Shaw is highly sought after early in the squad drafting it seems. Selected by 38% of FPL managers, the Manchester United man has decent opening fixtures in Leeds, Southampton, Wolves, Newcastle and West Ham in his first six fixtures. So there's potential there for a few clean sheets. If you couple that with his attacking threat of one goal and five assists of last season and a good showing in the Euros, we can all see why he's a popular pick already. Trent is the second most selected defender in the game with 27% of FPL managers already plumping for the Liverpool man. With Trent, it is never difficult to see why. Apart from his very weighty attack in threat of two goals and eight assists last season and four goals and 15 assists the previous season and four goals and 15 assists the season before that. If we couple this with Liverpool's opening fixtures looking pretty tasty with only Chelsea looking a snag in their otherwise glorious run of first six games, who wouldn't want to plump for a defender that could deliver us clean sheets and attacking threat, even if he is going to set us back a midfielder fee of 7.5 million. Senior has been selected because of Everton's great opening fixtures and his attacking threat. Last season, Dinia got nine assists and finished the season at 6.2 million. This season, he's a bargain at 5.5 million. We'll have to see how Benitez plays him, but a defender that doesn't face any of the traditional top six in his first six fixtures with a chance of a clean sheet and attacking threat, it's easy to see why selected by 23% of FPL managers already. Fano was a player that caught a lot of FPL managers attention last season. Full of promise and attack. At 4.5 million this has got FPL managers excited for the youngster yet again heading into this season. He did only post one assist to his name last season in 2,260 minutes but as I say it's the cheap price, potential 
and Leicester's fairly inviting fixtures with only Man City in their first opening six of any note. That has 27% of FPL managers excited enough to put Fafana in their teams already. Manchester City have slightly trickier fixtures than some of the other most owned defenders we're looking at today. However, it's the calibre of Manchester City's defence that keeps FPL managers coming back for more. At 25% owned, FPL managers are banking on City leading the clean sheets table again like they did in the previous season with 19 clean sheets. They may also be hoping for the odd attack with Diaz as he did put away one goal and one assist and has looked fairly lively in attack at the Euros. It may also be noteworthy that of City's defenders last season, Diaz seemed one of the least likely candidates to be rotated, which might be why 6 million isn't bothering FPL managers during their early tinkering. Moving into midfield and Salah is a mainstay in most FPL teams. It takes a brave person to go without the Egyptian king, though it has been done, and the game has been won on exactly that strategy, believe it or not. However, let's not beat around the bush. He will always be so heavily owned that if he does something, make that anything attacking at all, it's going to kill your rank. You better have some good alternatives to make up the ground on him should you not decide to go with this guy at the start of the season. With 22 goals and 6 assists last season, managers will hardly blink at Salah's 12.5 million price tag. He plays most games in a top 6 team with an attacking mentality. It doesn't get better than that. With Liverpool's start to the 21-22 campaign looking pretty tasty as I said in Trent's section, I'm not shocked to see Salah as the most owned player in the game already, with over 50% of FPL managers already plumping for him. Especially as it looks like Liverpool have blocked Salah playing in the Olympics, which would have likely ruled him out for a couple of game weeks at the start of the season. But we can't talk about Salah without talking about Bruno. Bruno has been magnificent since arriving in the Premier League, and his penalty record is nothing to be sniffed at, especially with VAR dictating large moments in games. With 18 goals and 14 assists, Bruno was the top point scorer in FPL last season. And I must admit, I am shocked to see him come in at just 12 million at the start of this season. But a lot less shocked to see him 41% owned, especially with United's fixtures looking good in the first six games. Add Sancho to this mix and there could well be fireworks at Old Trafford this season. Grealish impressed FPL managers in the early to mid part of last season and he certainly looked impressive during the Euros. This plus his 6 goals and 12 assists of last season might be why FPL managers are taking the dive in on Jack so early already. 8 million feels pricey to me. It's a jump from his 7 million at the start of last season. But it could prove to be worth it wherever this young talent ends up next season. 37% of FPL managers certainly think so. Rafinha, one of the standouts for me last season. The way this guy attacks is just something else. Based in a will score one more than you lead side, he has lashings of potential for our FPL teams. With 6 goals and 10 assists in 2,358 minutes, that's some going. I can see why 25% of FPL managers are ignoring the fixtures leads have been dealt at the start of the season based on this guy's tasty 6.5 million price tag and his explosive form. Mount came in as a bit of a shock for me as being the fifth highest owned midfielder with six goals and seven assists last season. I'm shocked to see FPL managers forking out the extra million over somebody like Rafinha. That said, Chelsea could well be the underdogs in the title race this coming season. They had a very strong finish to the end of the campaign last season and this is obviously fresh in the minds of 21% of FPL managers. 7.5 million wouldn't be much at all for the talent that is Mason Mount, especially in a firing Chelsea side. Up front, the newly promoted Ivan Tony leads the charge as the most owned forward in the game, with 36% of FPL managers placing their early trust in the championship's record goal scorer of last season. This is rare. There aren't many times where a lot of FPL managers stick their neck out on a newcomer so early 
early on without seeing how they'll settle into the game. Except for Werner last season and we all know that didn't seem to go so well. You'd think that might have put a few managers off doing so all over again. However, Ivan's 31 goals and 10 assists of last season and more importantly his bargain price at just 6.5 million has us all flocking to the Brentford man in the hope that we've discovered the next Bamford. Watkins was another Aston Villa player that took FPL by storm last season coming fourth for the most forward points with 168. This included 14 goals and 9 assists. Aston Villa have three lovely opening fixtures of Watford, Newcastle and Brentford. Granted we can't know how well the two promoted sides will be defensively yet in the Premier League but a poacher like Watkins in front of goal with a backup from the newly signed Buendia could just see Watkins starting the season how he finished it. 34% of FPL managers are willing to put their trust in just that as it stands. As mentioned with Dinia, Everton have great opening fixtures. It's not hard to see them while Calvert-Lewin takes our third and final spot for the most owned forward in the game early this preseason. He's Everton's star striker with 16 goals and 6 assists last season in 2,871 minutes played. He's taken a 0.5 million price hike since the start of last season and his teammate Richarlison will likely miss the start of the season due to his participation in the Olympics which could have a bit of an impact on Calvert-Lewin's returns. But that doesn't seem to have bothered 28% of FPL managers who are happy to pay up for the 8 million striker with seemingly the best opening fixtures of the start of the new season. Here's what the most selected team looks like with FPL rules and budget based on the fabulous fantasy football fix algorithm. You can sign up with my new code in the description below. So that's it you guys, an early look at the most owned players this season with an idea of how the template is starting to shape up. Please let me know what you guys think in the comments below. What's your initial thoughts? How many of these do you own? And please let me know if there's any particular content you'd love to see me making in this pre-season. Feel free to check out the sponsors of this video, FantasyFootballFix.com, for the chance to get 65% discount on Fix Premium plus a free strategy guide for the new season, then check out my affiliate link in the description below. And please, if you've enjoyed this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Let's try and reach that 5k before the start of the season. Until next time, Nymphria out.